Hi YouTube viewers, welcome to the wonderful world that is my kitchen. We've had a bit of adventure outside of the balloon room. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make a cat. Now, I can't tell you the amount of times a child would come up to me at function and say, I want a cat, which would absolutely fill me with dread. My heart would stop, my blood run cold and uh, I'd freeze. I couldn't do it. I'd persuade them to have something else, but my cats just didn't look like cats until I went to a balloon convention with a good friend of mine, Anne Ashworth from Funtime Faces, and she showed me her cat. Really liked it, thought it was a great, tried to remember it, promptly forgot it. I'm hopeless. So I came away, had a bit of an idea in my head, and I played around with it. And I played around with my head and my head, and I juggled things round, and eventually I came up with this little cutie. This is Jessica the cat. Not to be confused with Jessica the rabbit. Anyway, this is Jessica, and she is made using three two sixties. Okay, I'm going to make it in blue. I tried doing a tutorial in black, and boy, you guys just couldn't see what was going on. So we're going to need two sixty. I'm using blue. You're going to use black with good two hands. Hit left in the tail and given a good stretch that one we're going to get a lot of bubbles out of we might make it we might not it's always hit and miss okay you need another one with again better hands there we go better hands worth and another one with yeah about a hand and a bit we won't use all of this anyway we're going to snap some of that off um you'll also need a black 260 just a scrap that's for the eyes and another pink scrap for the nose you can use very little of both of those and you can use and i'll explain why at the end a gray with just a puff of air in it so it just holds it rigid okay we're going to start with the white 260 there we go so we're going to start with making a pinch twist or an ear twist about two fingers you take the nozzle turn it back and twist it round. Okay, what we're going to do, and I learned this at the convention, love this idea, this bit here that you create, you take your nozzle and pull it through, stops it all twisting. A number of times my first ear twist would undo, but, oh, not again. Right, okay, so, the same again, another one. You end up with fish lips. Some people like to do that as two bubbles and then twist them round with each other. And a third, this is going to give us our muzzle. Okay, so you could do that as a pinch twist again, trying to twist it back in. I find an easy way to take this bit here and wrap it round and over this bit. So I'll show you. Take that bit. I'm going to pull it. I'm going to twist this as I do and roll in this one. Reduces the friction, less chance of it popping. If you're going to use loose bubbles today, it's going to be one of these three. Okay, so that's our, our muzzle. I'm going to now make a good size hand. And the one coming back needs to be just under half, maybe about a third of the one that you've made. This will give us the curve on the whiskers. Okay, so we're going to come back. And we're going to twist that. And twist that into these three here. Really important that you roll this one as you do it. Okay. There we go. You can see you get that really nice curve on that top there. And we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. Good hand. Smaller bubble. So that's where you do. Now we'll twist into the muggle. Okay. A little bit of a range, but there you go. You can see you've got the one, two, your three, and then your one and your two. I'm going to take this up just onto the top 
for a moment you'll see why in a minute right we're going to take the one with a really long tail now it's only about half inflated and you're going to need to give it a good stretch and you need to give it a good stretch as you go because this one is really hit and miss as to whether you get it in if you don't get it in don't panic i'll show you what to do so taking the nozzle wrap it in You got these two side by side. There we go. So, got a handful. Wait. Don't let go. That doesn't work. Okay, so like that. Now what we're going to do is we'll take each one individually. I'm going to bring them back down. I'm going to twist them back into this muzzle. Give us a good squeeze. Match the size of bubble. it out down the bottom okay and we're going to do the same with the other one i pull a lot of good faces when i'm doing this one okay so there we go we should have one two three four okay now this one Give it a stretch. So we're going to plant the side of the blue and white. We're going to go about two thirds up, almost to the top, but not quite. Make a twist. Now we're going to do a series of backwards and forwards for this one. So we're going to make a small one finger bubble air twist. Okay, following. Good. If not, stop, rewind, always works. Another slightly bigger two finger. And then a one finger air twist. Okay? So air twist, spacer, air twist. We're going to come back now, same size as that middle spacer bubble. Go into that first ear twist we made. So you've got this. Okay? First ear twist, space bubble, ear twist, small space bubble, that. Yeah, it's probably a bit large, but it'll do. Now this isn't your ear, this is the base of your ear. Okay, so more stretching. The more you can stretch, the better you'll be at the end. Okay, so that's three finger bubble. And match it up. Going from here up, down. Following? I hope so. Okay. Got two finger bubble. This is going to go across the top of his head. And then you're going to do the same again. More stretching. Okay, so small air twist. Space bubble. Small air twist. Stretch, match your space above the lock. Okay, more of a twist. We might make this, or we might not. And I'll show you what to do if you don't. Small, two, three, that three finger bubble, back down. Okay. At this point, if you've got a teeny weeny bit, don't panic, pop it, get rid of your excess, take your other one, tie it in, just wrap it in, and you'll be ready, good to go again. If you have, like me, got the ball, probably just enough to make a bubble that matches, I'm going to pop and tie, I'll show you that gadget in a minute. There we go. 
we'll see if that's going to be enough okay this little thing got this from staples absolutely fantastic it's a letter opener but it's got a lovely little point and it's got a little concealed blade for trimming things off so i really like that bit of kit so take this bit and we'll go down back into that muzzle I just made it there. I only just on the previous ones I haven't always made it. So yeah, just tie that other balloon in. It just means you have a slightly shorter tail. Okay, we're gonna take this ear arrangement on top of the head and just move everything around. So it holds everything in place. Okay. of arranging there we go now take our other one if you haven't already tied it in this is where we're going to do it it's going to go into this muzzle there's a lot of twists going on in this muzzle so just take it easy be kind to it and remember to twist as we go reduce that friction right okay white on the bottom blue on the top i'm going to put another ear twist in this helps keep the head a bit more upright now, rather than wrestling and trying to get an ear twist in, what I'm going to do is I've made about a bit hard to see in there, but it's about a three finger bubble. The same process as before when we made the muzzle. I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to wrap it in. Put it to one side and I'm just going to twist. And then the front, rolling this balloon as I do, reducing that friction. You can see there you've got just a nice bubble now and that helps just to keep that head upright stops it looking at the stars all the time okay so you want the white in front you can always move it around the front later but you want it in front so we're going to take about a hand's length probably eight fingers a bit hard to tell there you go And then we're going to put in two ear twists. Now, there's different ways you can do this. You can do individual ear twists. You can make two bubbles. Twist those in on each other. And then pull them apart and twist them in opposite directions. When I first started doing that, I lost a lot. I didn't find it very easy. So it is a thing of practice. Practice, practice, practice. Right, okay, so... So those, we're going to go back up. Guess where it's going? It's going into this bit here. That's the last time you have to go into that bit there. Okay. There we go. White out the front, blue out the back. I'll show you why now. Okay, this white here, oh, you see, it's come undone. I never have much luck. I always prefer to do them, to do them individually. That'll show you guys. Okay, so this one, I'm going to pull it through. And the reason is, if I push it through from the back, it doesn't seem to give you that nice little chest. Just there. Okay. So what we're going to do now, give a bit of a squeeze. Put these two together. We are going to pop this, just not now. Okay, we'll see why in a minute. So then we're going to do our legs. About over a hand, take your tail, what's left, and push it through, sometimes you get a longer tail, sometimes you don't, it's not the end of the world, and then to 
get these to sit right, we're going to push this white bubble through here. Okay, get rid of this first, it's in the way. You can use a safety bubble. Okay, so if you really don't want to pop this, make yourself a little safety bubble. A little gadget. Off it goes. That means you're not going to have that explode on you, which quite often it will do. Wait, just running away. I feel this one's going to be astray. Tie it off. Remove the excess. Now we take this white of the belly and just push it through the feet. It just helps it, those feet, to stay forward. And then you've got your tail. Sometimes I've tried putting a little pinch twist in the bottom there. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So there's your cat. If you're not feeling very artistic, you can just draw the eyes on. However, I quite like googly eyes. Now his eyes have fallen on the floor. Give me a second. Be right back. Did you miss me? Okay. Sorry. Being cheeky tonight. Okay. So pink. Scrap of pink. It really is just the tiniest little bubble. We turn it into an ear twist. Got a big knot there. Oh, I've got a hole. Little pocket pump. Little pocket pump that doesn't seem to be working too well today. Give me a second. There we go. It's a new one. Got too much oil in it. Right, okay. Let's try again. Little nose. Ear twist. it off. Again, these take a little bit of practice. I used to hate doing these when I first started. Remove the excess, leaving yourself a tail. That's really going to be quite important now. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the top of these two and the bottom of the eyes. Show you in a minute. Guess where it's going? Yeah, it's going into all that stuff there. Yeah. And you've two ways of here. You can have it because it's an ear twist. It can go horizontally or vertically. I quite like it going crossways. Yeah, that's personal taste. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is the eyes. This time, instead of one pinch twist. Two. And again, these don't need to be very big at all. One. Two. Squeeze the excess down so you can tie it off. Let out the air. Again, you need a good tail with this one. Now this is going to go through the eyes and come out the back. You go through that first quad that you made. Hope you guys appreciate the faces I'm doing today. Been working on those all week. Okay, so we're going to pull these two down, tuck them in with the nose. You can put them wherever you like, you can put them up here. I just think it looks a little bit cuter with them down with the nose. So there we go, one Jessica cat. I think she's rather cute. Now, you've made this if you've got a kid waiting and you're feeling a little bit naughty, a little bit cheeky, which I know some of you guys out there are. You can ask the child, do they want a mouse with their cat? Mice cats they go well together okay here they say yes get a scrap of grey now Anne told me this and I can't remember who told her but I just thought genius take a scrap of grey the puff in it you know the one I told you about earlier okay what you're going to do is just tuck it in 
into the mouth. One mouse. Hey, the cat was feeling hungry. Right, so there we go. You can do other things as well. Okay. This one. I've given a cute little flower to hold. Hey, the world's your oyster. You play with it. Your design. Okay. Please leave me feedback below. I really love reading your comments. Really helps me to develop my art. And let me know what you think. And why not drop by my Facebook page, Sarah Burns Balloon Artist. <sighs> Hope I've got that right. And show me your pictures. Show me what you've made. I'd really love to see your little Jessicas. Okay. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye.